What's up, Wastelanders? My name is Oscap. There was speculation that we were going to get Mischief Knight, and it doesn't look like that happened, which is unfortunate because that would have been really, really cool. But I've already gone through the patch notes and I've highlighted out of all of the things that were changed, it's all bug fixes, but there are some that are very interesting. For example, the Jumpy Juice Company Tea Machine now states that it generates tea. That's not that interesting, but that's that's nice, I suppose. The Straw Goat is now properly craftable for players who learned the recipe previously. Wow, there he is. that's the so straw cool. Goat. In all his glory. Look at goatly his goatly glory. Goatly, goatly, this goat is the goat. He's amazing. He is he a is amazing. glorious goat. Can you interact with him in any way? Or like, can you let him on fire? Or does he just... Um, let's see. No, you can't do anything. No, I can, I can use my cauldron. I can talk to Steven. There's nothing I can do with the goat. Okay, well, he doesn't need he's to do more. He's just very cool. He's good the way he is. And I believe I can place a million of these goats in my camp. Looks like they've fixed stuck Brahmin in areas. Nice. And they they fixed it twice. <laughs> I guess that's better than fixing it once. Um, there's a bug that I didn't even know about where if you hurried your Brahmin, it could actually make other people's Brahmin hurry. That's that's good job about thread synchronization there, Bethesda. They fixed the issue where the Yao Guai would spawn after the defeat the Yao Guai objective. You could turn in your supplies and then the Yao Guai would spawn afterwards and kill your Brahmin and you could still lose out on the caravan. Oh, they fixed wow. several other areas where the Brahmin could become stuck. <laughs> Because the more times you fix it, the better it is. <laughs> oh, oh, no, they fixed where you could get full supplies from somebody else's caravan. So we can oh, no longer no. we can no longer do that. But there's good news in that if you're helping somebody else's caravan, you now get more supplies. So uh, small caravans, four supplies, three scripts, stem packs, and contextual ammo. Medium cam medium caravans, 12 supplies. Large caravans, 20 supplies. So it's no longer 10% of the total. That's, that's better, I think. 20 supplies on a 50 supply caravan is worth doing. And then if you fail a caravan, you'll still get three supplies instead of one. So that's helpful. Completing a caravan will now properly count towards the complete an event while in a group challenge, which was nice. Some combat changes. Combat balancing, there were some interesting things here. They increased the damage for lesser devils. There's only three of them or four of them in the game. There's those two that spawn on the upstairs monorail thing, and then there's ones that spawn in the flooded city center. But they're kind of meows. Like, I never found Meow. lesser devils to be all that. So it's nice that they've increased the their damage. That's good. They've increased some other stuff, but they've done a lot for creature balancing. Creatures will be less threatening at mid-levels, but they will be tougher towards level 100. And that includes a lot of creatures, as you see down here. Mothman, Union NPCs, Blue Devil, Jersey Devil, Lesser Devil, Sentry Bots, Feral, feral Ghouls, Grafted Monsters, Ogua, Critters. I don't even know what a critter is. Rad Roaches, Flatwoods Monster, I Rad think Rats, like Squirrels are Critters. But they don't really attack you. But okay, so they're they're more badass. Who doesn't appreciate a badass squirrel? Rad stags. <laughs> they did some changes for events, and they changed some magazines. For the most part, magazine effects were improved, except for these two that I have here in red, where they were one effects cooked meat meals, and the other affects fruits and veggies. And previously, they affected all of the benefits from those items, and now they only affect healing, which was their original intent. So they've been nerfed, but other things have been improved. Uh, so like Grognak the Barbarian 9 gives you 25 carry weight instead of 10. Things like that. So 75 radiation resistance instead of 15. These are all good benefits, I think, uh, with the exception of the two that were nerfed, and I don't think that's unfair. Lots of changes to Milepost Zero headquarters. I'm not even going to go through them all. Uh, basically, it was stuff that was broken and now is hopefully less broken. One thing that I thought was interesting was that the V63 laser carbine did not correctly apply explosive legendary visual effects. So I'm thinking that was just a, a visual thing and not actually a damage thing, but whatever, they've fixed it. Weapons things. Those of you who've been creating Unstoppable Monster or Deathclaw Gauntlet and then scrapping it to get all of your Deathclaw hands back, that's no longer going to work. Sorry. So you no longer get a Deathclaw hand back. You're going to have to continue to hunt Deathclaws for that. Ticket to Revenge Sorry. now has the correct legendary mods again, because 
great, I suppose. You know, it should have what it's supposed to have. But Deathclaw Gauntlet and Unstoppable Monster now require one Deathclaw hand to craft instead of two. So, you know, that's that'll be a little less draining on the minimum number of Deathclaws we have in the game. One that I'm particularly excited about is that the enemy minigun audio should no longer continue playing after death. Everybody Yay, knows this one finally. from Eviction Notice. Eviction Notice, you're on the cliff up top and you kill some super mutant and suddenly for the rest of the event you hear da 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 Though they have also yes. claimed in the past to have fixed this, hopefully they finally really did for sure, for real. For real this time, uh, yes. That was so annoying. Creatures now have an increased chance to drop meat. Personally, I've never found an issue with getting meat from my creature, but it's good to know <laughs> that my creature will now get more meat. More meat, This yeah. one, here in red, I've actually used. The Ogua would go into his shell, and I could still kill him with Vats shots to the head. And it looks mm. like now when the Ogua is in his shell, he will be completely invulnerable, and that's how it's supposed to work anyway. This one, speculative fix. I think that means that they think they fixed it, but they're not sure. I, I'm liking how they presented that. <laughs> I have encountered this where I've used daily rerollers, and then when the server resets uh, at 9 o'clock Pacific time, those don't reset. And I didn't realize that they reset an hour later because of daylight savings time. It's actually daylight saving time, but everybody yep. gets that wrong. So allegedly that now may have also been fixed. And the shadow person that everybody was very excited about, who was just the shadow of a person on a cliff near Lake Eloise, he has been removed from the game. Oh no, he was cool. He was cool. He was like, I don't even know how that got in there. You know, somebody Easter egged it or something like that. So there you have the patch notes. And there, like I said, there's more stuff in here, but these were the things that I thought were the most interesting. And thank you to everyone who joined. As you probably know, my name is Oscapt. And I'm Noodle Pants. Until next time, my friends and vault dwellers. Stay safe out there. Shadows creep and sway. Cause a land of rusted dreams where the brave dare not stray. Appalachia, oh, it's a treacherous ride with dangers untold and nowhere to hide.